endometrial carcinoma. Endometrium is the inner lining of the uterus and a carcinoma is a cancerous growth. So this time we have a cancerous growth in the inner lining of the uterus. Endometrial carcinoma arises from the lining of the uterus and is the most common of the malignant tumors of the uterus. Sarcomas can also arise from the stroma of the endometrium or from the myometrium. And they are more common in women over 45 years of age. These women who are in a menopause state. The risk factors for this cancer of the uterus or the endometrial carcinoma is obesity, impaired carbohydrate tolerance and diabetes, nulliparity, late menopause, and a post estrogen therapy, functioning ovarian tumors, granulosa, thickuses, and brainer tumors, previous pelvic irradiation, familial history of carcinoma of the breast, ovary, or colon cancer. Also, tamoxifen therapy can also predispose somebody to develop this endometrial tumor. Polycystic ovarian cysts. And the etiology of this endometrial carcinoma is not known, like other cancers, and it's related to an unopposed estrogen stimulation of the endometrium by progesterone. And in the postmenopausal period, this majority of the circulating estrogen is delivered from the aromatization of these perivalent androgens. Postmenopausal women with diabetes have increased estrogen levels. And we have subtypes of these endometrial carcinomas like endometroid, which resembles the normal proliferative endometrium. We have squamous metaplasia, which can occur with adenocarcinoma to form an adenosquamous carcinoma. Papillary ulcers and clear cell carcinomas are aggressive forms of these carcinoma. And primary squamous cell carcinoma of the endometrium is extremely rare. And in the clinical features of this, we have mainly the postmenopausal bleeding, postmenopausal blood stain discharge, and menstrual bleeding. And there's heavy periods. And there's likely to be normal findings on the clinical examinations. And bulk uterus. And for you to diagnose the person with endometrial carcinoma after taking normal history and physical examination, you conduct a papal biopsy, uterine sampling and curatage. We have hysteroscopy to visualize these tumors and full blood count. We realize there will be low hemoglobin, indicating anemia. Urea and electrolytes together with liver function tests, pelvic ultrasound transfer denoscanning scanning also, and magnetic resonance imaging, and just x-ray to detect any metastasis to the lungs. And in the staging of this endometrial carcinoma, we have four stages, the stage one to four, and in stage one, the carcinoma is confined to the uterus. We have stage one A, whereby there is no or less than 50% myometrial inversion. Stage one P means that there's more than 50% of the myometrium involved. Then stage 2, the carcinoma invades the cervical stroma but does not extend beyond the uterus. In stage 3, there's local or regional spread. Whereby we have stage 3A, we have the adenexo or the serosa involvement. Stage 3B, we have the vaginal or the perimetrium involvement. Huh? And pelvic involvement is in stage 3C. Stage 3C1 has paraortic and lymph nodes involvement is stage 3 c2 and in stage 4 it has invaded the bladder or the bowel like in stage 4 a it's only the blood and the bowel mucosa and stage 4 b distance to metastasis like to the lungs and for your treatment you conduct surgery which is the main treatment of joyce and in stage 1 and 2 you conduct a total abdominal hysterectomy and bilateral side finger of rectomy with peritoneal washing Radical hysterectomy and bilateral pelvic lymphadenectomy with paraortic node sampling. We have radiotherapy as an adjunct for stage 1 and chemotherapy using high dose progestins. We have other types of uterine tumors like mixed mesodermal tumors, and it includes the tumors that contain heterologous mesenchymal elements, and it contains some elements resembling a sarcoma and others resembling a carcinoma. 
together with basal components such as cartilage and strip muscle. And the next one is a sarcoma, but your dates like embryonal ramped sarcoma. There is a blood stained watery discharge, and the vagina is found to contain grey like masses of soft growth. We have another third type known as leiomyosarcoma. It may arise from a transformation of the previous benign fibroma into a sarcoma, and it occasionally arises in the stroma of the endometrium. Endometrium stroma sarcoma. Histological diagnosis of malignancy will depend on the number of mitosis per high power field. Patients with more than 10 mitosis per H power field are regarded as having a malignant disease.